strap yourselves in. Welcome to another deep dive. And today, well, today we're going full on Star Wars nerd mode, okay? I'm ready. Let's do it. Perfect. So there's this article, right? And it's buzzing about some major shakeups in the Star Wars movie release schedule, okay? Oh, yeah. This is big news. Some big changes. Yeah. And the biggest shocker, a Star Wars film set for December 2026 just vanished. Poof. Gone. Just like that. And guess what replaced it? You're not going to believe this. Ice Age 6. It's wild, right? I mean, talk about a tonal shift. One minute you're in a galaxy far, far away with lightsabers and the Force. The next, it's mammoths and slapstick comedy. That's Disney for you, always keeping us on our toes. But let's be real. Star Wars release date changes? This isn't exactly new territory. True that. I mean, how many directors and writers have we seen come and go? Patty Jenkins, Kevin Feige. Brian Johnson. David Benioff and D.B. Weiss from Game of Thrones. It's almost like a revolving door of talent. And now this Ray movie, which we all thought was happening, is on hold. After the rise of Skywalker, I mean, there were even hints about Ray starting a new Jedi Order. Remember Kathleen Kennedy talking about that? Absolutely. Those comments really got fans speculating. But think about it. This project went through a lot of screenwriters. Damon Lindelof and Justin Britt Gibson were on board initially. Then they left. Stephen Knight took over, but he's out now, too. Maybe, just maybe, they just haven't cracked the cod on what Ray's story should be after the Skywalker saga. Hmm. You know what? That's a really good point. It's not like they can just pick up where Episode Nine left off and call it a day. There needs to be a fresh, compelling story, something that makes sense for Ray's character and for the future of the Jedi. But back to Ice Age. Um... Okay, I gotta admit, I've got a soft spot for those goofy prehistoric creatures. Who doesn't? Ray Romano, John Leguizamo, Queen Latifah, Dennis Leary, Simon Pegg, the whole gang is back for this one. But still, Ice Age 6 taking a prime December slot that could have been Star Wars. Does this tell us something about how Disney is approaching the franchise right now? Are they pulling back? Well, it's hard to say for sure. But it does make you wonder, maybe they are rethinking things. You know, maybe they're being more cautious after the, the let's just say, the missed reaction to the sequel trilogy. Yeah, fair enough. And they do still have the Mandalorian and Grogu movie coming out in May 2026, right? Right. That one's still in the books, directed by Jon Favreau. And let's not forget, there's that other untitled Star Wars film planned for December 2027. Okay, so it's not like Star Wars is going away completely. Not at all. But I think this whole situation raises a really interesting question for our listeners, for all the Star Wars fans out there. What's that? What do all these changes, these disappearing acts, these shifting release dates, what do they mean for your expectations? Yeah, good question. Does it make you more excited? Like, oh, Disney's shaking things up. Maybe we'll get some fresh stories, something totally unexpected. Or does it make you nervous? Like, uh-oh, they don't know what they're doing with Star Wars anymore. Honestly, it's pr probably a bit of both for a lot of fans. On the one hand, who doesn't love the idea of new and exciting stories from that galaxy far, far away? But on the other hand, Star Wars has always been about these grand, epic narratives. And when you have projects popping in and out of existence like Force Ghosts, well, it makes you wonder if Disney is losing sight of that big picture. That's exactly the thought I want to leave you with, because behind all these scheduling changes, there's a bigger question. What's the strategy? What's Disney's long game with Star Wars? Are they carefully curating every step like, OK, we need this type of story next? Or are they just kind of throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks? That's the million dollar question. I mean, will these decisions ultimately breathe new life into Star Wars and keep those lightsabers buzzing for generations to come? Or will the force fade, leaving behind just a faint echo of what once was a galaxy full of endless possibilities? The answer? Well, only time will tell. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. May the Force be with you. Always.